Check out these media headlines that started hitting the wires late Thursday. According to unnamed White House sources, China had given in and agreed to purchase $200 billion more in U.S. goods. Okay, that's a lot. Well, in the world of Chinese trade diplomacy, acting like America won and they lost is apparently a very big no-no culturally, even if it's true. I'm Max CEO Rich Gelfond, who's negotiated successfully with the Chinese for decades, told us, what, three weeks ago on this show how both sides can win this type of war. Let China save face. Don't rub anything in their faces. Make them look like winners to the extent possible. In a Fox Business exclusive, Zippy Duval, the president of the American Farm Bureau Federation, joins us. Uh, Zippy, before we get to where President Trump is on allowing anybody else to save face, I I've got to ask you about the farm bill, which collapsed on the House floor on Friday. It appears the Conservative Freedom Caucus voted against fellow GOPers, not because they didn't like the farm bill, but wanted to use it as a bargaining chip for immigration. What do you and the farmers you represent, what do you think happened there? Well, we uh, knew that it was going to be a very difficult challenge for us and uh, being a being bipartisan bill. Uh, but we had a really good week last week. We headed off some real damaging uh, amendments and got to the vote and, of course, lost. We're really frustrated and concerned uh, and irritated, uh, basically, that uh, this good farm bill that uh, Chairman Conaway and his uh, Agriculture Committee worked so hard to get forward that it's going to be held hostage on another item. Mm. Uh, and in that item, that issue is a very big issue to agriculture, too, and that's uh, our workforce. Well, some say this illustrates why Speaker Paul Ryan maybe needs to vacate the position now. He doesn't have control of his caucus, nor can he convince at least some Democrats to join on issues. From where you stand, does Paul Ryan need to go sooner rather than later? No, this this is a good man. Has done a great job. He needs to finish his job and get it done. You know, if you we, we don't have to remember back before years ago where we had same kind of challenges trying to get our farm bill. Farm bills are not easy legislation to get passed. Uh, of course, in the end, we always look forward for it to be in a bipartisan bill, and hopefully, when we get it, all this is done, it, it will be bipartisan because this is about the food security of our country and being able to, to uh, make sure that rural America continues to thrive and lead the way in the agricultural world across the world. Okay, all right. So you believe Paul Ryan should stay? That's interesting. Boy, he got he got hammered by uh, s some real critics on this on Friday, saying he he thought he could get it through and he couldn't. Let me now get to this trade situation that appears to be cooling just a bit with China. Uh, President Trump tweeted, and and I just want to read this to you. He said, under our potential deal with China, again potential, uh, they will purchase from our great American farmers practically as much as our farmers can produce. I would imagine that makes you absolutely jubilant. Uh, do you believe it? Well, I, I believe that this uh, president is working hard to increase uh, our exports uh, in, in all areas of uh, American businesses, but he understands the potential in rural America and what our farmers and ranchers can do. So we've been nervously uh, waiting for him to uh, give us some insight of where he thinks this might go, and the news that came this weekend was uh, very exciting for us. Our farmers and ranchers are ready to meet the challenge. As long as we have good uh, research and development dollars being spent to keep us on the cutting edge of agriculture, American agriculture can lead the way and, and step up to the plate and, and okay, fulfill but, the orders. But, you know, we still have what they slapped on the pork producers here in the United States, a 25 percent a tariff, and that was in response to the 25% tariffs that the United States had slapped on Chinese steel and aluminum. So the pork farmers certainly uh, are concerned, I would imagine, um, but corn's elated, I would think. Uh, but again, some of this is still in place, considering what we saw last week, where one minute it was, yay, 200 billion, the, the Chinese are in to, to buy that much more from us. The Chinese did not save face. Uh, is there a delicate way to do this where both sides can actually win? Well, I think that uh, the, the opportunity to call out those numbers this early in the, in the game is, to, is very premature. Uh, that they're, you know, what's really what we need to focus on is they're actually sitting down and talking about this deficit and going to try to work out some agreement. What the numbers might be, none of us really know at the end what it'll be. Uh, but, but you I, want I, it to be. You want to trade with China. Let me just get that clear. 
you better believe we do. We can produce, and they, and they have 1.4 billion people over there that need our products. Well, Zippy, uh, I look forward to seeing this at least come through and help our U.S. farmers. But uh, the pork producers, boy, they're, they're a hit in, in China, are they not? Chinese love U.S. pork. Uh, they do, and we uh, we understand that, and we're doing everything we can do to minimize that damage to our pork producers. Mm -hmm. But I think in the long run we'll make up for that, and I think we'll make up it in pork uh, soon to come. Well, one question before we go: What would you say to President Trump right now if he were listening on this issue of negotiating with the Chinese? I tell him we're very encouraged by the news we got this weekend. We want him to continue to work to make sure that we can expand our agriculture exports into China and the Asian rim because that's where the growing middle uh, class population is. And we look forward to uh, supplying the products to them. Good to see you, Zippy. Thank you very much for coming here on a Fox Business exclusive. Thank you.